Hello and welcome to Leader Logic. I'm Amelia and today we're talking about why it is important to take notes on everything that happens um, when, whenever you're making decisions in your engineering career. So this is something you want to start early. If you haven't already, go out and get yourself a um, like an A4 book works best because you can fit a lot of notes in an A4 page. Um, I use a hardcover spiral bound A4 lined notepad. Um, get yourself a good pen, carry them to every meeting. Um, start every meeting by writing down the topic, the date, the time, and I always on the right hand side of the page put a list of everyone who was at the meeting. Um, just so that when you come back to it, you'll be able to remember who was there. Now, the reason that I say to take notes is because you never know when the outcomes of that meeting are going to be called into question. And I'm prompted by uh, making this video because um, only a couple of days ago, I was phoned up by someone that I hadn't seen in, or hadn't talked to in weeks. And the person asked me whether I remembered at a meeting that we had two and a half years ago with an external party, whether I remembered this particular thing being said. I mean, I remember the thing happening because it was, it was uh, eyebrow raising at the time. So I remember it, but if I hadn't have had notes, I would have no way, it would just be, I would have no way of demonstrating um, that it actually happened. It would just be my word against theirs. What I actually did was I was able to go back through my notebook. So I keep every notebook that I've had since I started my engineering career. And I was able to go back to the notebook that I was using at that time, flip through the dates and find the notes that I took during the meeting. Now, even they were pretty scrappy notes, all right, because there was a lot being said and I was writing pretty quickly. So they're not full sentences, but you can clearly see where I've written down this particular statement. You can clearly see where I've underlined something if I thought it was important. And then the other thing is that because I was one of the people that set up that meeting, I was actually taking the notes with the intention of typing the outcomes out and distributing them to the meeting attendees. So I was also able to go back through my files, like my project files for that date and find the outcomes that I produced and distributed. So that's the second thing I would recommend is take notes while you're in a meeting and then type them up and send them around to people in the team. So some organizations have a template that they want you to follow. If they don't have a template, I would put it in an email just with a bullet point or number numbered items of all of the things that came out of it, whether they're observations, things that people agreed, things that people were supposed to research, put them all in a numbered list. So at least you've got a record and then people will read that if they disagree because they think something else was said in the meeting, they'll give you um, comments on that. Adopt those comments into your formal record and then reissue it again saying this is the final record because you never know when someone is going to call you up several years after a meeting happened and you need to demonstrate what was said at the time. So yeah, in this particular case, I was able to find my written notes and I was able to find documented um, record of outcomes as well. So I was able to send those both on and it was a really good outcome. What you don't appreciate when you first start engineering is how long some issues stick around. So, um, you know, technical issues can take a long time to get resolved. They can start getting resolved and then they can die and then they can be picked up you know, a couple of years later by someone else because there's a renewed interest in them. So definitely start early, start taking notes in minutes, keep your notebooks. Um, some people actually um, number all of the pages in their notebooks so that if there's ever, if they're ever called into a court case or something like that, they can say, yes, that's definitely what happened in the meeting. And that's definitely all that happened because if something else had happened, it would have been in my notebook. And as you can see, there are no pages missing in my notebook. So, you know, it's not like a page has been written, ripped out because um, you can rip pages out of spiral notebooks and not necessarily see it. So, yeah, um, I've intended to number pages, but it's something that I have started doing recently just because as soon as I became aware of that as a as a potential risk, I'm, I'm now 
trying to mitigate that as well. You can never be too careful. You can never, you can never cover your own butt enough. That's all. This is a quick episode. That's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, do your thing. Comment if there's something else that we should all be doing um, that I haven't picked up. Um, yeah, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching this episode of Leader Logic. I hope you are finding these episodes useful.